Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Curtis. I'm one of the paleontologists here at Fossil Crates, and it's here. It's 2021 lightweight finals of the Chulai Championship. Number one seed Mega Raptor versus number three seed Utah Raptor. The opponents face one another, bow, and then walk backwards to their respective corners. There's the sound, and the battle is off. The two of them burst straight out of their corners, directly at one another. Mega Raptor counting on its gigantic hand claws to do tremendous damage with its long reach. Utah Raptor has been using its weaponry on its deadly toe claw. These two square up against one another. Mega Raptor reaches out, makes first blood with that really long reach with the huge claws. But Utah Raptor accepts the blow, continues going, and then fully attacks, tackling the Mega Raptor up close, using its feet with some quick up kicks with the giant slashing, as well as using those massively recurved meat hooks to just rip into the sides of Mega Raptor. Having ducked under the weaponry, Utah Raptor is showing off its capabilities in close quarter combat. It's quick thrust jabs from its powerful legs, it's powerful claws ripping in, and then it's biting. Uh, Mega Raptor has decided to do a, a reach and scratch from behind, trying to stab the Utah Raptor repeatedly. Utah Raptor, however, is weathering those storms and is continuing to not let go, uh, just grinding and clawing away. What I thought would be a high speed battle flying around the field is actually turned into some kind of Muay Thai contest. Uh, Utah Raptor continually clawing and biting. There's blood everywhere. Mega Raptor realizing his strategy is not working, bursts free and resets, charges in with the big slash. Utah Raptor kicks Mega Raptor in the leg, just severing tendons and ligaments. Mega Raptor's hand goes limp. His other hand does come around and slash Utah Raptor, but Utah Raptor sees the opportunity and locks its teeth around the throat of Mega Raptor using those huge meat hooks, grabbing a hold of the Mega Raptor's back and then viciously up kicking, slicing repeatedly, holding up Mega Raptor until Mega Raptor bleeds out, disemboweled. Mega Raptor collapse, number one seed is defeated, and the lightweight chomp, Utah Raptor, in a narrowly hard fought victory. Welcome to the 2021 Chulai Championship post fight conversation with Fossil Crates paleontologist Jacob Jett, myself, and Aiden Rouse. And we're going to talk about the lightweight battle, number three Utah Raptor, and something of an upset took out the number one seeded Mega Raptor and a 60 40 vote by the public. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about a Mega Raptorid versus the flashy Dromaeosaurid. What did you think of the fight, Jacob? I don't know. It's, it, it was always going to be a cool mashup. That's, that was the fun thing about this one. And it's just kind of neat to see the Utah Raptor bringing his hand claws into the fight in a way that we haven't seen in other popular media. You know, I mean, those, those killing claws get so much attention that it's kind of fun to see him using everything he's got. Absolutely. Uh, just that, that ability to use those meat hooks and then rip and then manipulate the prey, just astounding. Uh, Aiden was talking earlier about how the Mega Raptor is really reliant on those claws, but we ultimately don't know a ton about the Mega Raptor as, as a group. It's just a fragmentary and spotty. It, it, it's a mystery of what they were really doing. And uh, I hope we find out more of it someday. Well, that'd be cool. This fight could go a totally different direction if somebody finds something this year. This year so. <laughs> That's so true. So true. Aiden, what were your thoughts? Ah, uh, I mean, it was, as Jacob said, someone needs to get down to South America and start digging. Um, I want to see, uh, I definitely would like to see Mega Raptor make a comeback next year, maybe. Maybe if someone finds something, it'll gain a little bit more popularity, just like how Gigasaurus or Giganotosaurus um, was the past 10 years, basically. It's a gradual, it's a gradual increase in popularity that next year, if Mega Raptor's in the battle again, He's going to take out, he may have a chance to have a rematch with Utah Raptors. So. 
I definitely Utah Raptor got by by one vote. This would have been a Ceratosaurus Mega Raptor battle. I don't know who would have won that one either in the public. Would have loved to have seen it. But congrats to Utah Raptor for getting the job done. 